You're watching Global News Morning. Twenty eighteen marked the year it became legal for Canadians to get stoned. Already millions have spent on millions of dollars has been spent on pot now that it is legalized, and while there have been shortages and other hiccups in the rollout, it isn't deterring consumers and their cravings for cannabis. Joining us this morning to talk about more about what lies ahead for the cannabis industry in twenty nineteen is CEO of Can Trust, Peter Aceto. Aceto? Aceto, yes. Aceto, Peter's okay. Fine. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Uh, so first of all, for people that aren't aware of CanTrust, tell me what exactly does your company do? What are they behind? Yeah, so CanTrust is one of Canada's largest uh, licensed producers. Um, so we do everything. We're vertically integrated, meaning we grow uh, cannabis in our in our uh, um, uh, top grade uh, greenhouse in the Niagara region. Mm -hmm. um, we uh, do everything in that growing process. Uh, we manufacture. We uh, produce. We do extraction, so we create oils and capsules for the medical market, um, and we ship to the provinces. And, and you we, used yeah. to start just just medicinal, though. Yeah. So when we started, we were the, the founders of CanTrust were pharmacists, mm -hmm. uh, and really just 100% focused on medicinal, which is I think really important because the standardization, preciseness, quality uh, is very relevant from a medical perspective, but it's very re it's very relevant to recreational too. I mean, we're ingesting these things. We want precise around mm -hmm. dosage and, and how they're working. Uh, so I think that that foundation is really important to us. So where do you think cannabis stands right now in Canada? I mean, it's been legal for a few months now. People are starting to get a little bit uh, more used to it. Do you feel like attitudes are changing? Yeah, so I think this is, uh, even when I was deciding that I wanted to be a part of this industry and to, to, to understand how attitudes are changing, so I am seeing it all the time. now. Medical marijuana has been legal for some time, mm -hmm. but I think with this October 17th change, uh, everybody is talking about uh, about cannabis now, and I think it is the the perception of it and the interest of it is uh, is changing mindsets very very quickly. I still think we're seeing some of the the old mindset, but I see things changing very very quickly in terms of the acceptance and adoption of, of cannabis for medical purposes, but also very much for recreational purposes as well. What about the technology and the innovation behind growing all these? These different strains of cannabis and all the different options that are out there. Yeah, I'm glad you asked about that because when you th when we think about CanTrust, when I get the opportunity to talk about our business, I mean, we really are uh, focusing on three things. You know, one is we want to be trusted. I mean, because this is an ingredient that's very, very important to people. So how we behave and the standardization is very important to us. Uh, this is a gigantic global opportunity and CanTrust wants to be at the forefront of that. But our biggest focus is innovation. We've got uh, 12 PhDs that work at CanTrust all the way from the seed and the genetics and optimizing these plants mm -hmm. for the different purposes, all the way through the research and development, product development, clinical studies we're doing um, uh, to prove the, um, the medical benefits of cannabis for pain relief. Uh, we're doing a study in Australia uh, about moderating the symptoms for ALS. So uh, cannabis and cannabinoids that are the molecules in cannabis uh, the impact they can have on our lives, both for fun and uh, and for, for medical purposes, we feel CanTrust is really at the forefront of that. And you're really starting to see those now that these studies can be done because it's been legalized. How do you think Canada has made a mark when it comes to around the world? Do you have people contacting you saying, hey, we feel like this is going to eventually come to our country and we want to kind of be at the forefront like you were? Yeah, yeah. I think there's two things I'd like to say about that. One is, you know, because of the vision of the Canadian uh, government and that we have full legalization here, it gives us the ability to really have a head start globally. Our experience at CanTrust, and it's become part of our strategy, is we're getting all sorts of, uh, of, of people from all around the world very, very interested in partnering with us so that they can bring what we are, our intellectual property, our knowledge and know-how from the medical side to their country. Um, and as cannabis expands in those countries, um, that they'll be uh, you know, at the forefront of it. So we're getting a lot of interest and we've got a whole department that's completely, uh, completely focused, focused on, on that. that. Absolutely. You know, the other thing I'll say is you know, we do have new legislation coming, which mm -hmm. is, uh, I think, really changes the game for cannabis uh, in terms of, we call it the edibles legislation, yes. but, you know, cannabis as an ingredient uh, has a big role to play, not just in having fun or relaxing or 
helping a child who has seizures, you know, live a, you know, live a, a better life. Mm -hmm. There's health and wellness and beauty products, even veterinary uh, products. We've got a joint venture with, uh, with, a, with a veterinary company who's thinking about cannabis for pets. For pets. Yeah, so it's, a, it's an amazing and very broad opportunity. And just quickly before we go, um, the shortage, a lot of people are talking about that right now. A lot of stores in our province haven't been able to open because there isn't enough pot to go around. Uh, what would be your response? Where is CanTrust at with that? Yeah, so we were just visiting. One of the reasons why I'm here in Alberta and in Edmonton is I was with the AGLC yesterday. Mm -hmm. and by the way, you know, in terms of all the provinces, uh, have really, really uh, done a wonderful job in terms of um, how they've rolled out cannabis in the right. province of Alberta. So really seen as uh, as, as a leader, you know, Canadian wide. So a bit of kudos uh, kudos to them. Uh, this issue about supply chain and getting product to, uh, is is something that everybody wants to talk about. I think uh, the demand was way beyond what any of us uh, have Expected. imagined. Um, so we're all, uh, certainly at CanTrust, we're working very, very hard to optimize our processes. We've got a lot of rules and regulations that we have to comply with. This is an ingredient that people are ingesting. Mm -hmm. So I think we've got to balance quality. But every single week that goes by, um, we're getting new records in terms of what we're getting out. Um, so right Hopefully now, we'll uh, it soon. so it is getting better all the time. And okay. I think uh, you can expect that improvement to continue. Okay, perfect. Thanks so much for coming in this morning to Thanks talk for with having me about me. this. Yeah. Uh, we are going to take a break now. We'll be back after this.